Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Shivam Solanki and today we are going to talk about the most important, the most fast and furious planet, the moon. You know why I have chosen this topic? Because I just realized that moon is the most important thing in our life. Because whatever we do, it gets filtered through our mind. And this is what moon represents. So let's talk about moon and then we will talk about the moon placement in different houses. So to understand moon, we must know what moon indicates. So in our life, moon is our mother, moon is our nutrition, moon is our comfort, our sense of belonging to someone, to something. You know, that is why moon rules 4,000, 4,000 is our country, our locality, our neighborhood. Because moon rules the sense of belonging. Moon rules our emotions, emotions in sense that in which area of life, in what things, to what people we attach our emotions to. That is moon. Moon also represents our thinking, our mind. What do we think? How do we think? In what direction does this human being thinks? In what direction he will filter all the things? For example, a same event happens to 10 different people but all of them react differently that reaction is because of their moon if somebody has moon in 8th house he will react negatively doubtfully and depressively if somebody has moon in lagna he will react very cheerfully and very optimistically so this is how the life pattern of a person changes and that is why moon is considered the most important planet because it also decides our dasha. For all my folks of western astrology, let me tell you what dasha is. Dasha is basically a system to time events and to know what happened in what time. That system is in Vedic astrology and not in western astrology unfortunately. So coming back to moon. Moon represents all these things in our life and hence it becomes a very important planet, an extremely important planet I should say in every person's chart. That's why after Lagna and Lagna Lord, the second planet that we should look to is Moon and its placement. So let's talk about the Moon's placement in various houses. So let's talk about Moon in the 7th house. For that, we need to know what 7th house represents. 7th house in our Kundli is the house of association, the house of partnership, relationship, marriage. It shows your spouse, your spouse's nature and your married life as well. Basically, 7th house shows all the people with whom you interact with on a daily basis. Also, 7th house is the house of gaining position because it is the 10th from 10th house. Seventh house is also your genital organs, your reproductive organs. Seventh house is the public place, the place where you are in the limelight, where everybody can see you. Also the trading area, the area in which a lot of trade happens in your city, where all the traders sit. A trader can be seen from the seventh house. So what does moon do in here? Moon being a very soft and sensual planet, it will most definitely give you a relationship, at least the first relationship, the first marriage, a very sensual one and a very full of love one. Your partner may be like a moon character. He will be sensual, he will be full of emotions, he will be very moving, moving as in sense of mind and emotionally. Since this moon is your mind and it is going in the house of your spouse. Hence, this shows that you are always inclined and always thinking about your spouse. All the things you have in your life, you connect it naturally with your spouse and then think of a future. But on the other hand, moon being a very quick moving planet, it also makes you want to be very social. Moon in the 7th house people, these are people who want to meet new people every other day. They cannot stay long with one person 
and they cannot maintain uh, like a boring kind of relationship with anybody i mean not even marriage even in friendship they cannot maintain that so when afflicted this moon can also give interest towards other people while being married or while being in relationship as moon is also a very uh, chanchal you know very lustful planet you have all have heard the stories of moon being uh, getting attracted towards the jupiter's wife so this is also a nature of moon and in the 7th house this will make a person little bit of lustful if there are malefic influences and if not then it will make a person restless and wanting to meet many other people wanting to be in different social situations with different people for your mother this moon will be very beneficial because it comes in fourth house from the fourth house hence your mother will be all about living life luxuriously comfortfully and everything everything good she will get and she will aspire to get both you and your mother will have a very emotional nature you both guys are also very connected towards each other basically the person who gets this placement is born in a very good and social family because this moon being in 7th house and aspecting lagna shows this person is definitely social this moon comes in 4th house from the mother so mother is also social this moon comes in 11th house from the father that is 9th house so father is also social father also wants to be in social situations because 11th house is big groups big organizations so this is what we can see about the family another thing is whenever moon dasha will run you are going to meet someone special someone special that is going to help you in many ways because seventh house is the other person meeting the other person and it will activate in the moon anta dasha or maha dasha there are many actors and actresses if you read their biography you will see that they meet certain people which turn out to be very helpful for their career or in any other area of their life later after some years so when i check these dashas when they meet them the dasha was running of the 7th house or the planet in the 7th house so this is also what we can see if this influence is very strong on the lagna then one may also can experience frequent changes frequent changes in their body weight frequent changes in their locality you know they might have uh, their parents working in a very transferable job everything related to moon they may have very very emotional expressions and emotional periods because moon will give it moon has this nature of changeability and emotionality so look out if this moon is in very close degree to your ascendant degree that is the most important point of the chart another thing about moon is moon is a very overthinking and worrying kind of planet so being in 7th house this moon can give you some anxiety and if majorly afflicted then depression also or in some transits some very difficult transits it might give you all those negative emotions related to marriage related to partnership it could also mean your business so look out for that another very important thing that happens with these people is they generally get a very good attractive spouse and they also acquire a lot of wealth from them so their spouse can be rich their spouse can become rich after marrying them because moon is a benefic planet and moon rules the liquid wealth so guys this was my analysis of moon in the 7th house and don't miss to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will meet you in the next video now that will be moon in the 8th house the worst position of the moon one can have